Is it important to track the Earth's average temperature over time? Absolutely. It tells us a lot about how the world's climate is changing. But averages are not the whole story. We also want to understand temperature variability. The weather factors into our plans for our lives, infrastructure, food systems, and the economy. And if weather patterns become more variable and harder to predict from year to year, it's harder for us to plan. It might not be obvious, but changes in temperature variability and changes in average temperature can both lead to more extreme temperatures. Here's one way we might look at this mathematically. We can describe the temperatures of many regions around the world using a bell curve, as shown here. The vertical axis shows probability of occurrence. That means the likelihood that a certain temperature will occur. And a higher probability of occurrence means a temperature is more likely to occur. Temperatures are most likely to be at or near the average, but we do sometimes get very hot or very cold weather. If the average temperature of a region increases, the bell curve shifts towards hotter temperatures. In this new climate, we experience less cold weather and more hot weather, including more record hot weather. Now let's look at variability. If we start with a typical climate and then temperatures become more variable, mathematically this would look like a bell curve with a bigger spread of likely temperatures. In other words, a wider bell curve we'd see less likelihood of temperatures being at or near the average, and more weather extremes, both hot and cold. So we can experience more extreme heat if either the average temperature shifts upward or temperatures become more variable. What if temperatures become more variable and the average temperature increases? Then the distribution of temperatures will both spread out and shift toward warmer temperatures. In this new climate, we would experience fewer changes in cold weather, but a lot more hot weather and more record-breaking hot days. These graphs are representations of how the climate could change, but what do scientists find when they look at actual observed climate data? A research study published in 2013 found increased temperature variability in some regions of the world during some seasons, such as summer in North America. This graph shows temperature anomaly distributions during summers in the entire northern hemisphere over about four decades in the late 20th century. We see that from the 1960s to the 1990s, the distributions have shifted toward warmer temperatures and have become a bit wider, indicating more temperature variability. Interestingly, the same study found that although temperature variability increased in the late 20th century in some parts of the world, if we look at variability in globally average temperatures, it has not changed significantly over time. Other studies have confirmed this. Of course, people don't experience global averages. We experience the weather in the region where we live. So those of us who live in regions where temperature variability increased have felt the effects of that change. And many parts of the world are experiencing more extreme heat, a trend that is expected to continue. Scientists think this is mainly due to an increase in average temperature, but that temperature variability plays a role in some regions of the world. Both factors can lead to more extreme heat, which can have deadly consequences.